Welcome to the homework for lesson two. This is module three of grade one. Get your name on here first so you can get credit for your homework. And it says use paper strip provided by your teacher to measure each picture. Circle the words you need to make the sentence true and then fill in the blank. So for this first one, the paper strip, if you lost or you don't have it or you have to make one, um, it should be nine centimeters long. And here I have about what it should look like. And I'm going to match it up so that the end point here of the paper strip matches up with the end point right here of the ice cream sundae. There. And that looks like, is that longer? or shorter, or is it the same length as the paper strip? It looks to me like they're the same length, so that's what I'm going to circle. And now we're looking at the spoon. Comparing the spoon to the paper strip, if I match up the endpoints here, you can see the paper strip sticks out a lot more. So the spoon has to be shorter It's not the same length, right? And it's not longer, so it has to be shorter than the paper strip. So now this com the last one, fill in the blank, the spoon, we have to compare the length of the spoon to the length of the sundae. So we know the paper strip if the paper strip is the same as the sundae, and it's longer than the spoon, then and the, if, the, if, if this is longer, then the spoon has to be shorter. So the spoon is, and here are the words right here, shorter than, so you can you know how to spell it, shorter than right there. Shorter than the Sunday. Now let me get this paper strip out of there. And now we're comparing a balloon to the cake. Well, I'll just look at it. The balloon looks like, is that shorter than the cake? Or is it longer than the cake? Or about the same length as the cake? It looks a lot shorter than the cake. Right, because the balloon's about that long and the cake is a lot longer there. So the balloon is shorter than shorter than the cake. Now the ball is shorter than the paper strip. So the shoe, the shoe, well you can look at the shoe, it's longer than the ball, right? So we want longer than. You can tell it's longer than the ball just by looking at it. So now using the measurements from problems one through three, we're going to circle the word that makes the sentences true. Okay, now we're going to look at the spoon and the cake. Those are both on the other page. So let's go back and look at the spoon and the cake. There's the cake and there's the spoon. Which one looks longer? We can bring back the paper strip. You can see how much the uh, cake sticks out there. And the spoon looks like it takes up a lot less of the paper strip. So I'm thinking that the cake is longer than the spoon. Which means that the cake is longer, the spoon is shorter. So the spoon is shorter than the cake. And then we're going to compare the balloon to the sundae. That's going to be pretty easy. So here's the balloon, right? That's pretty, that's pretty short. 
the Sunday up here at the top, that's the same length as the paper strip. You might remember that was the same as the paper strip. And then the balloon is a lot shorter than the paper strip. So the balloon's a lot shorter than the Sunday. Oops, that's two pages ahead. So the balloon is shorter than the Sunday. And the shoe, the balloon was pretty short. So I mean, I don't think we even have to go back and look at that to see that the shoe is going to be a lot longer than the balloon. And now we have to order the cake, the spoon, and the paper strip from shortest to longest. Now, the cake and the spoon, those are both on the other page. So let's see, the paper strip, it's longer than the cake and the spoon. So that's the longest, and the spoon is the shortest. So the strip is the longest, and the spoon is the shortest. So the strip is the longest, so we want the shortest, it says shortest to longest, so we want the shortest first. The spoon was the shortest. And the paper strip was the longest. Paper strip was long. So that means the, um, the cake was in the middle. Now this says draw a picture to help you complete the measurement statements and circle the word that makes each statement true. So Marnie's hair is shorter than Wesley's hair. So we've got Marnie's hair, we've got Wesley's hair, and then we've got Marnie's hair again, and then we've got Bitta's hair. So let's draw three heads. They're about the same height and I'm going to call this Marnie and Wesley and Bitta. Marnie's hair is shorter than Wesley's hair. So if Marnie's hair is shorter, Wesley's hair is longer. But Marnie's hair is longer than Bitta's hair. So that means Bitta's hair is going to be short, shorter than Marnie's hair. So now, Bitta's hair, this is the question now, Bitta's hair, is that longer or shorter than Wesley's hair? Well, it's a lot shorter. Elliot is shorter than Brady. Okay, now we can draw some stick people for this one. Okay, Elliot is shorter than Brady. Here's Elliot. He's shorter than Brady. So Brady's going to have, if he's shorter, then Brady has to be taller. And Sinclair, who's a third boy Sinclair is shorter than Elliot so Sinclair has to be shorter than Elliot Sinclair there so now we're going to compare Brady to Sinclair so is Brady taller or shorter than Sinclair well you can look at the picture he's taller that's it